Well, ladies and gentlemen, is it not another one of those fantastic moments where we get a little on yes time, a little Dan radio style and on yes together. Yes. It's a reunion tour. We're going to be out there in all the places. You certainly will uh, enjoy it. But uh, here we are together. We're going to be talking about Andrew Andrew's breathing technique. Now, Two things. One, I kind of watched a little bit. This just has a video, and I'll link it below. It's really cool, and it talks about this technique. But on top of that, this Andrew guy. Who is he? Who's Andrew? Who's Andrew? Who is he? Talk to me. Talk to me, I guess. <laughs> I don't know who Andrew is. Uh, All I know is it was a guy that Neville explained the particular breathing technique to, and then it became the Andrew breathing technique. So... Do you want me to tell you about it? Well, yeah, I was kind of curious. First <laughs> off, I mean, I, I guess I was a little almost, <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm a little disappointed, frankly, about who Andrew is. Um, I was really hoping for something cool, like they named a building after him or something, but no, I know. no just a breathing technique. Just a guy in, the, in one of the lectures and Neville explained this technique. So, Okay, yeah. so what, what's going on with this technique? I kind of, okay. I watched your little video, it was a little yep. short. Yep. It seems to reference simple. another thing. Yeah. And there it's seemed to be simple. a- Very simple, very simple. Breathing it's about part two that was kind of yeah projecting through breathing and thought you launch something to be manifested but you're using the breath with the imagining at the same time so what you're doing is you're breathing in and out and in and out you can do it with your eyes open sitting in a chair i used to do it in the car when i was driving from sydney to my mum's place so what you do is you do it and you get faster. So it's like, you know, like when you're running the last sort of 50 meters of a race, you give it that last push and then you get to the end and it's like, oh, when you cross the line, it's like that. So you do the breathing. You so you ramp your, it up. You like you try to make it. it yeah. You kind so you of start like faster. when you're first starting to run, maybe steady breathing. Ooh. And then you start to try to pick the pace up, like the timing yeah. of like in breaths, out breaths or yeah. fewer seconds and fewer seconds yeah. kind of thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And keep going. Keep going. Up, and you it got me so faster. far. And then uh -huh. when you get to a certain point where you just feel like that's it, I can't go any further, you just, you exhale and you just sort of shoot the imaginal scene forward and you just launch it and you let it go. You, so you shoot just, the scene forward? Yeah. Okay. I just. It's a visual. You, you know my mind is um, <laughs> dirtier than most, right? I mean, like, anyway, I, I'm not going to go there. If anyone goes there with me, thank you for joining me in the gutter. That's where I live. But anyway, okay, so, so you shoot it forward. Is an should, yes, <laughs> so exactly, exactly. Thanks yeah, for, thanks so for watching Pan it. Radio. So, like that. So it that is, I, I hate to, it, but it is kind of almost like that climax, like that final, uh, well, that final push at the end. That's what Neville actually says. That it's oh. that, it's that without. So Neville's obviously. in the guttered with me. All right, yeah. he's in the and gutter you there, want baby. Any of that, I'm not even going to bring that up or any of it. But Go we'll Neville. let Neville do it in the. It's your birthday. Andrew technique video. Hmm. I got Neville. Mm, 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 mm. Okay. Anyway, sorry. I was just having a moment there with Neville <laughs> uh, as he was rolling in his grave. He was like, Dan Radio style, really? What's Neville I'm having a moment? I think that's anyway. what killed him. <laughs> Probably. Yeah, it wouldn't surprise me. No, so that's a very cool technique. Now, yeah. from your understanding, kind of, I mean, yeah. I guess... Um, I, I guess I get the kind of the push up to it. So that's kind of mm -hmm. cool. But I was kind of wondering if you could sort of discuss like you're kind of... What do you think? Right. What's going on with the mechanics? Because obviously breathing, mm. getting a meditation, that's sort of more of a calm, relaxed, yep. sort of, you want yep. to keep it steady and, and consistent and you don't want to pick up the pace by any means. If anything, you probably want to slow the pace down. But yep. um, exactly. so obviously a very different concept. You're trying to mellow and chill when you get into that meditative aspect. But in the sense of trying to manifest, yep. I'm curious about the mechanics. I was like, that was the one thing that really caught my attention mm -hmm. was, I know. oh, this is different. So I want to, I want to kind of understand it better. Yeah, well, it's energy. So you're actually pushing the energy out of your body and it's like the imaginal scene goes with it and you launch it and you release it and you let it go. And it's, it's like you're putting a turbo on the back of it. <laughs> you know what's funny? I want to bring this up right now and try to get me back on and try to get us back on track. But, you know, many people talk to us about how there's multiple, um, you know, Neville said this, but there's, yeah. but you're yeah. saying this right now. Now, Neville doing this breathing technique, by the way, if, yes. if, because he's talked about all you got to do is think about it and you own it and then you walk away and then it's yours. I mean, yep. he's said that too. I just wanted to point out that all of us kind of talk about different techniques because no matter what, yep. some of us 
have a harder time with parts of this than others and you can yep. just say the same thing over and over like, hey, all you got to do is think about it and it's yours. And they're like, yeah, but you keep saying that. That's like, yeah. that's not really help me. And then you got this other side where it's like, well, you're giving us examples, but all it says over here is all you have to do. And it's like, well, yeah, this also works. So I just kind of wanted to point out, and I think it's kind of a cool thing. These are awesome techniques to kind of help us. Like, yeah. I mean, theoretically, manifesting, you've talked about that, my favorite story with you and I, and it goes way the heck back, but the shirt, you bought, you, you just thought, and you're like, <laughs> wouldn't it be cool if that was on another color, and there it was hanging over the thing just like a few days later, and it's yeah. like, you didn't yeah. think about it, you didn't do no. it, you didn't care. I mean, it was like, you manifested it accidentally for that matter, but yeah, I it really care. is that simple. I mean, there's yeah. not, so again, I, the techniques help because sometimes I think we handbrake ourselves and everything yeah. under the sun, or maybe have issues with yeah. self-love. So anyway, it builds the energy up is your point. I guess I got myself back on track. Yeah, but that's exactly your, it, what it is. It builds the energy back up and it, like when I used to do it in the car, it's like this feeling in your stomach that it's like, I, I don't know how, it, how to other to describe it. It was like, if you're looking at it from the side, the energy is running in your stomach like that. Did you feel like it was just in the stomach area yeah. or do you feel like it kind of comes up almost into the heart kind of where the no. love got involved or is it just down in the tummy? For me, it was just down in the tummy. Okay. okay. So it's so running I... the energy like, like, like a yeah. hamster on a wheel. So from like my crazy stuff that I like to talk faster. about, that's your third chakra, right? That's that area in there, that third energy center. So that's yeah. kind of interesting though because that's, that's right below the heart chakra, which is very physical and very involved with creating things in the physical reality. Mm -hmm. So that's a great place for that energy to build up and well. So good. Yeah. Pretty cool. So like yeah, I said, I was curious on the mechanics. Yeah. And it's really um, like I used to get like this buzz from it. It was like you're doing it and you can, because what happens is as you're doing the breathing and it goes faster and faster, you can't keep that pace up. Eventually it has to be released from your body because it's really, it's like you get this pressure. So the, the huge question that pops into my head that I hope other people would have, maybe I'm the nutty one, but whatever, is what, like maybe what's, what's a, an example, and then hopefully you'll help me come up with one to help yeah. give two examples, but what'd be an example of a, like a, an imaginal scene that you might try to create where in the scene you're starting slow, what are you kind of imagining? Yeah. And then oh, what are yeah. you building to? Like, cause otherwise I'm again, going in a dirty place and I really don't think that's the point of this per se. No, that might work. <laughs> I think that, that, that question usually comes up because Neville talks about it as a release without the release without itself. The release basically. itself, right, yeah. So, that's, that's okay, let's, let's work through one. Let's use, let's use, a, let's use money because it's, it's physical, you can see it, and it doesn't involve another person for this exercise. I like it. So you're feeling like poor and you feel like you're living from pay to pay and you're feeling like, oh, my goodness, I've got debts and I'm stressing out about money. So you'd start doing the breathing you start as you start you get it going don't do any imaginal and then what you can do is you start thinking about you can do it either two ways that money's coming out money's going out or money's coming in whichever way because different people like to do it different ways so what you do is you then start to add from that feeling place then you add the imaginal scene so what you do is you start to, let's use the money coming in as an easy exercise. So you start seeing the money coming in and you can actually get it going with your breathing. You see it coming in faster and faster and faster as your breathing starts to increase, increase, increase. And then it's like, you know, when you see the, the lotto ads where just there's the big, <laughs> where they, you know, the ball explodes and you see all the money come out or whatever. It's like that. So you would imagine the money coming in, the money coming in, you start breathing, you start breathing, you're breathing faster and faster, the money's coming in faster, 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 and then whoosh, it all just goes. And then you just see it maybe gently falling down. That's just, you know, my version of it. You can do it, whatever your imaginal scene, you can put your own slant on it, of course. I love it. I love Ooh. the slant. I guess that I, I, it definitely gives me a, a good understanding. And then on top of that, of course, you said the ball explodes. Uh, I, I don't know. Um, <laughs> So, <laughs> yeah, I, um, yeah, I'll, I'll add in the yeah. solo factor, but needless to say, <laughs> it is how it is sometimes. Um, I knew this was going to go this way. <laughs> it has to on yes, this week with Dan radio style. I mean, with the, 
I would, it would be disappointing. Was, I, I would think it would be disappointing if I wasn't <laughs> at least bringing some sort of immaturity to this, uh, <laughs> this particular discussion. Immature. The four year olds out there need a yeah. voice, frankly. Yeah. Let's just say they just sound like men. Remember that's that all. day we did a session and you said, I said, doo doo. <laughs> <laughs> that still sure makes me laugh. That's, that's what I'm telling you. My four-year-old just my, popped out. You said yep. doo-doo. You said oh, doo-doo. God, you make me laugh. The oh, I'm a, well, the licking the dashboard, I think, was the other one that um, made people happy. <laughs> yes, the dashboard one. Well, you got to taste the car, right? What yeah. does the car taste like? We bring in the five senses. We've talked about it before. <laughs> now, you can explode all over that car as well. That's very possible. But I get it. It's from the breathing standpoint. So even, I guess, manifesting a car, that kind of pops into my mind. But yep. Thinking about it, maybe yes. thinking about going faster and faster and faster. Um, yeah. I'm trying to figure out how we would wrap that into a relationship thing. Because obviously, yes. at least with your audience, um, yeah. you know, like 90% of them were, would be curious. Oh, yeah. yes, that's great. How do I tie that into a relationship okay. without doing it the way that Dan guy keeps saying? <laughs> okay, let's do the clean version. Yeah, I'm just wondering if you can... <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a hard time. I am. I am. I, and I don't mean it in a, like I'm solely a dirty person. No, like I'm seriously trying to think about this from the okay, right way. So if we were doing, say, an ex, a specific person, or just a new relationship, again, you sit, you start your breathing, you start it off slowly. It's almost like a meditation, right? I mean, am I, am I right on that? Like the beginning is kind of well, like just get chill, get relaxed, get, get cool? Yeah, it is when you first start. Because you're trying to reverse whatever crazy like shit you got changing. going on? You're changing gears, Oops. you know, like when you're driving a, a stick shift or a manual car, whatever you call it. Yeah, it's works. like you go Both. slowly in first and then you go to second and then you go to third and it being Okay, so you're trying to get speed. yourself, you're, so you're not rolling up. backwards like when you're letting the clutch out. Ah, yeah. now we're going. Okay, cool, cool. <laughs> I'm there with you. I drove a stick. So, yeah. yeah, me too. Yeah, I like well. it. But yeah, I do too. Not I good miss in the city, not, though, not good in they're, the city. they're like theft proof nowadays, which is funny because so many people don't know how don't to drive a drive. stick. They're Some like, people don't. Yeah, you're right. I don't people. even know what's that extra pedal for. Yeah. It's like, wait, you push it in and stuff. It's fun. <laughs> it's practice. Anyway, uh, sorry, I digress. Um, what yes. So about? breathing, oh, we're getting breathing, ourselves in, in yeah. line. We're trying to figure out how we're going to yeah. use this for a relationship. Andrew technique for relationship. So you would start doing your breathing in for four, out for four. Again, in for four, out for four, and you start getting it going. You start getting into the rhythm of it. Then what you would do is you would think of, okay, I've got a specific person there. I want to send love to them. I would probably do send love to them rather than okay. try and get love from them. I like them. that. I like that. Because that's sure. always a big trouble. Well, and it's get. better because you get back what you send out. That's the whole thing, yeah. right? We, what we're emanating out is what we get back. So, yeah. I love yeah. It. Yeah. Better, so, better choice. You would start doing your breathing, bring your awareness to your heart center. And then as you get to the top and keep them in your mind, right. like while you're, you know, doing your imaginal kind of, part up here, you're like doing your thought breathing. transmission things. Yeah. It is a bit like thought transmission, yeah. um, but it's energy transmission. Yeah. And also. you're controlling your energy with the breathing. I like yeah. that. Now this yeah. is actually, I'm is having it more sense? Okay. Yeah. 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 So then well, you, I'm seeing a huge uh, benefit to this now, the way you yes, bring it up. Yes. It's making a lot of sense. Yeah. Just keep so going. Keep going. Keep the keep the um, mental image of your whoever you want to send it to your specific person in your head, and then when you get to close to okay, this is going to be the end. I can't breathe any faster, and I'm I'm about to. <laughs> my energy me. needs to go. So yeah. you would bring your awareness down to your heart, and then you would just send it out and radiate it out to your person. Then you go, okay, I'm done. I've sent my love now. And it's just like one final exhale, right? Like, yeah. like a push yeah. almost, right? Well, it's like when you run the race and you just cross that line. It's like, Phew. all and right, go, okay. You almost like need to catch your breath after because it kind of, it's such a big exhale that you, you know, it's kind of like you're, you got to catch your breath after. I like it. So, and I think uh, well, like a lot of people are going to, that are going to play with this for relationship purposes. Yep. One, uh, just the couple things I like. So I, like I said, I'm really into the mechanics. It's even what I do professionally. It's odd. But the fact that now we've gone from the stomach, which by the way, when you're manifesting physical things in the physical world, the stomach's a great place to be coming at it from. When you're manifesting love, like you said, coming up yeah. to the heart chakra is almost a necessity. Like it yeah. really is. Yeah. So that was beautiful. I love that. And that is yeah. where that energy needs to come from. So that's where people need to feel it. Definitely. When you're doing the breathing and certainly yeah. when you're getting center and focused at the beginning, doing yeah. your in breaths, a little pause, and then your out breaths. That yeah. is definitely, and you want them rhythmic. You want them equal. That's a really good balanced yeah. approach. And again, I agree with you. Like no matter where you're at in your, your dilemma in life, here's where oh. you can turn things around in a great yeah. way. 
yeah. and then use this additional breathing technique aspect mm. to really mm. give it an oomph, right? Mm. So turn it around. And, and you know what, Dan, the, the, the play, I've actually don't find it easy to do it sitting in a chair. I find it easy to do it when I'm walking. Mm. Okay. You can actually pick up the pace of your, your walk. You can pace it into your walk. I yeah. like that. Or now drive. you're adding exercise. Holy crud. That's good too. Yeah. Yeah, because you can love it. actually, and, and in the car, I don't know, there was something about being in the car and being on a motorway, not when I was just driving around the street, stop, start, stop, start, but when I was on a freeway where I was going to be doing, you know, a certain speed for quite some time, that's when I would do it. So just to clarify too, you start the breathing in your stomach. Okay, then oh, and then you bring it up. up. Gotcha, yeah, yeah. Then your imaginal scene starts in your head and then you drop down into your heart if nice, you're doing nice. it with a person. Nice. Okay. So you're actually working from three points, stomach, head, heart. Yeah. And the, see, that's funny. It's like the, from like a spiritual meditating, I, I like to come in from the head and bring it down, yes. which is funny. Yes. But the, yeah, from, from Definitely. the stomach up, I like that because really manifesting is a very physical thing. It uh, is. And so that's cool. I love it. I love the technique and yeah. it's, it kind of definitely one demonstrates to me how how spiritually attuned um, Neville Goddard obviously was because oh. he was obviously aware of this, and of course with you as well. So it's just probably why you and I get along so well. One of the many reasons. <laughs> yeah. Or you tolerate me. It's really what I feel like more than anything is your listeners tolerate me because he's like weird. The dude is weird, and I know that's why but every we once in a while. But you know I what? Say funny. That's why What's I kept that? it going with you because weird people make the world a better place. You know that. <laughs> I like to think so. We talked about two organic nuts. I mean, I think uh, I'm not trying to say the cotton uh, pot in the kettle, you know, thing, but uh, I think you're a little nutty too. I'm just I saying. Know. Just I know. Out there. Yeah, so. my mom. Well, this was is a the great only technique. One oh. in the family, actually. <laughs> Your mom's the only normal one. Yeah, she's the balancer for the rest of the other three. <laughs> Are you sure, or does she just like hide it better than the rest of you all? Uh, no, I think she's reasonably oh. normal. Oh, okay. <laughs> Got lucky there. She just surrounded yeah, I guess, by weirdos. <laughs> I know. She's like, seriously, how did I do this to myself? What? And you're like, well, mom, it's us pushed out. Yeah, <laughs> Saka, yeah, right. Yeah. Give her some crap on that one. Exactly. Well, she reads Neville, so she probably gets it. Well, there you go. <laughs> that works. Yeah. So that's very good. I love the yeah. technique. I love the the way it gets the energy moving through the body. I think this is uh, a wonderful and yeah. you know, just I, I didn't really fully understand it when we talked no. about it. And again, with the car and stuff like that, uh, I get it. But with the love, um, I think for a lot of people, yeah. they're going to have to find their own story that yeah. they get to play out in their mind that kind of helps them build up that, that pace. Yeah. Uh, that might be a, a challenge for some, but I think it can be yeah. for, for sure. I well, and that. I think too, when you think of it, cause I, when I did that Andrew technique video that was requested by a woman, Arwa, who said, like, have you ever done this? And do you know about it? And I said, yes, I'll do a video about it at some time. Cool. I said, I'm going to make the video very simple and very short. And then I had in my mind that you and I would talk about it in more oh, nice. detail because it's like when you're talking about it, with two people more comes out of the conversation. Right, right. And I thought that's when I want to share about how I've used it and how it works and how it's really not that complicated. It's just- Well, let's get into the how you've used it because I don't think we've quite covered that. I mean, we talked about the car one unless that was the actual story, which by the way, I, I can't even tell you how many times um, I've thought about when I was driving. I'm like, I can't remember the last minute. Where the hell? Shit. Like, <laughs> like, oh my God, I've been driving without any consciousness, apparently, in the autopilot. So it's unbelievable, isn't it? How you can go me. kilometers and not know where the hell you were driving. Yeah. 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 So what other, what other times have you potentially used this, maybe? Or was it? Uh, I've used been... it for job, like that job that I had that I really loved, the creative job that I had for three years. I would just use it where I would do the breathing and then I would just launch that I was in this Westfield shopping centers because I knew where the shops were that I wanted to work in, but I had to get in with the people that got all the contracts for all these different places. So to me, it feels like a, like an excitement, like a, almost is. like you build up that, um, that that's yes. like the feeling that you want to almost yes. attain is that like doing that job for that first time. And you want to feel that excitement. Yes. And that, and I think that's that energy that you're pushing for. Because I'm trying to describe the energy that yeah, yeah. that's what you are wanting to feel when you're that's trying. Right. Again, that's what we attract is what we feel, right? Yeah. That's what we're sending out. That's what comes back. And yeah. it's that excitement that, that it, it's, that's the thing is there's been times where a lot of people have talked to them as well, where you have that moment where you're like, I like something happens in your life and you're like, I 
freaking have to get a job. Something yeah. has to happen. Like yeah. it's that, uh, and it somehow something happens. Just like the next day, it's like you're getting a phone call and you're like, oh my God, thank you. Cause this had to yeah. happen. Like there was no other yeah. way. Like I, I was going to starve. I was going to leave my place. Like, yeah. so it's just that, and it's mm-hmm. getting like, how do we feel like that all the time when we're trying to manifest? It's like, exactly. it's a weird energy that we drive. Mm-hmm. And so I think with you, it was like that, like I said, that excitement and that's, what I think is important for people to yeah, and understand with this, it's, it's not just breathing faster. It's no. that energy that comes with it. And it's also because depending on the subject, money, easy. You can see yeah, it coming. Right, yeah. you're, not, you're not projecting out to money. You're actually yeah. releasing the really, in a way, the feeling of lack. And you're saying, yes, I'm ready to have it. So that's how it works with that particular subject. Whereas with relationships, you're projecting out love to someone rather than trying to get it. With yes. a dream job, I actually projected myself into the scene. Yeah. I wasn't trying to get something to come towards me with that. Oh, right. So it depends what subject it is. It's not clear cut and dried how you use the, the imaginal part. The way I the saw it recently, thing. and I'll be curious what you think about it, but I feel like it's the joining of two things. Like, I'm joining my world with it. You know what I mean? Like it's instead of thinking it's coming to me or I'm going to it. Like, I feel like we're joining frequencies, like realities. We're trying to mesh. We're trying to inner join. We're trying to like the gears going back to a manual transmission and letting the clutch out and not making a noise. Right. Like trying to not grind. We're trying to mesh the gears with what it is that we're trying to manifest by getting in vibrational attunement with it or, or frequency with it, like being tuned in yep. to what it is that you're trying to attract yeah. is I think a way of being in that same energy in that same space. And I think it helps us kind of come together with mm. it or them or whatever, mm. which yeah, it's like that collapsing space and time thing. What now we're getting off and really cool stuff. Mm. Let's talk about it. Black holes. Haven't we talked about collapsing space and time? No. Oh, you mean as far as the from behind thing where like where you look, like you like imagine from where you were and then you imagine back, like a double imagining some sort of paradox. Oh, you're the, thinking of of and from, not thinking of it. No. What are you talking about? Just like, Collapsing but, space and time. So Let's talk of that's a really, okay. we're going to do it, actually, a twofer on this one. Yeah, I can't believe we didn't talk about it. Maybe we have This talked. is why it's awesome when Anya and I get together. This was, this was not planned. <laughs> this was right. not planned. We're off the rails now, people. I don't know what's going on. Shoot. <laughs> So collapsing, this yeah. is, this was a, when I first heard this, I was like, wow, this comes from Joseph Murphy. And he talked about, say you've, okay, let's use the US cause that's a big country and we all know what it looks like. So you've got, you know, the two sides, East and West, you've got the whole country in between. Now, if you were going to drive across the US, how long would it take? Uh, a long time. It's like four five, days, five, four days. five yeah. days. Yeah. Yeah. And that'd be pretty serious. Training. Okay. Same as Australia. Yeah. So yeah. So a long time. Yeah. So too long. by car four or five days, if you walked, it would take. Yeah. Uh, weeks months. and weeks. Yeah. Months. Yeah, there you go. Probably months. Okay. Let's yeah. say two months. We'll just pick a figure and say, say it'll take eight weeks depending yeah. on how short or long your legs are. Right. So what you're doing is you're collapsing what you would do walking into in say two months, you would collapse that time down from two months into four days if you drove it. Okay. So right, same right. amount of distance, same amount of space, but you're collapsing the time. And in my case, a lot less facial hair <laughs> would be. Why is that? Well, because for months I would have a beard. I'd be like Forrest Gump when he was just, <laughs> I kept on running, running right? Oh, and he's like, what? why are you running, <laughs> yeah. Forrest? Yeah. yeah. And then, but if I dro- you know, drove it, that's four or five days. That's what I normally look yeah. like when I do videos and people are like, wow, dude, what's up? You don't shave? And it's like, man, it's been about five days. <laughs> it's been about five days. Pretty much how that works. So anyway, so okay, you collapse so it down. If you're going to fly across the US in a plane, how long would it oh. take? Shoot, that's like three hours. That's five hours. hours. That's barely facial hair. That's five o'clock shadow. Okay, five o'clock shadow. So you've gone from two months down to four or five days, down to three hours, the same amount of of space. You've collapsed down to three hours amount of time. So So it's a way of like tricking yourself almost. Ah, Tricking is a bad word, but it's a way of uh, of, magic. Yeah. Yeah. Trying to look at, oh, that's going to take months. And it's like, well, no, not necessarily. No. So what you do is, you do the same thing when you want to go from, 
I don't have something that I want to I have something that I want and I'm enjoying it. You're collapsing space and time by using that thing. You're collapsing it. And the way we do it in terms of, because so many people know Neville, is you live from it. Gotcha. You're thinking of it, you're on one side of the US and then you've got the thing you want on the other side of the US. So you, you collapse that space and time through imaginal scenes. So that was Joseph. By, by creating, by like living from the end, that's essentially what you're doing. Okay, so I think... Yeah. You're saying that's kind of what the, um, what the the what happens because of living from the end. It creates this whatever yeah. you f- see in your reality. Maybe they're still angry with you. Yep. Maybe uh, they're too far away. Maybe they live in another county. Whatever the mm. heck is right. Mm. So for some reason, we've got this perceived separation that yep. occurs, be it time or space, either yeah. or. Exactly. Um, and by living from the moment you then decrease that because well you remove it essentially it, it now becomes more what uh reality is which is kind of more on the instant level because energy travels instantly and all those kinds of things so as yeah. we think about it and or live from it we're yep. removing that time and space that's awesome that's really yeah. good i think yeah. we have mentioned that way back well when, yeah but i mean it, probably worth the revisit i th- yeah I, and i think joseph murphy's explanation is slightly different to Neville. Neville says living from it. And Joseph Murphy talks about seeing the, the two and then you literally collapse space and time through, you know, in the case of the plane or the car or walking, you find the way to make it where there is no space anymore between you and right. it. Right. And everyone always talks about the funny, like a straight line on a piece of paper. What's the quickest way to two points? And everyone's like a straight line. And they're like, no, by bending the paper and touching the two points together is the quickest way. It's the quickest way. Exactly. Combine the points. So yeah, it's uh, very, very cool. um, Because I've explained the collapsing space and time in a lot more detail on a specific video. So, you know, can put it down below. Yes, please. And then I'll, I'll, uh, yeah. Yeah. You know what? Could you, I don't know who's going to get posted first, but if you could email me that link, yeah. maybe after we finish, that would be rad. Sure. Just only it'll help. Uh, and then I'll link the one that you linked in the original email anyway. Yeah. The Andrew so we'll at least have both. Ones. Yeah. 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 Cause that's really yeah. cool. I like that. And that's totally, I've never even yeah. heard of it prior to you. So that's a hundred percent. You get credit. I, and whispering's another one I think is one that people ask me about. And I'm like, I don't know. Anya's is who I heard it from. So, you know, <laughs> this is my understanding of it, but she's, yeah. it's her thing, man. I don't know. Yeah. Well, it's not even I mean, mine. It's borrowed from. Sure it is. Sure it is. When yeah, I did, look how humble she is, people. No, 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 it's not mine. Oh, I just remember no. when I did the video, I remembered where it came from, and I actually oh. probably said it in that video. Now I can't even remember who where the whispers uh, I'm, comes I'm sorry, people, for even assuming and saying that. Yeah, no. Yeah. So, we don't so know anyway, yeah, yeah. Is and we don't know where the whispering technique goes. No, from. right, and it's so dis. Oh, I really wanted to know Andrew. Like I felt like yeah. a, you know, like like a middle name maybe was a lot, but. Yeah least like a first and a last name yeah. like i just want to know the guy i feel like yes. dude we named a breathing technique after you You deserve more than just you deserve more well you know what a choir pianist his name was andrew like that doesn't help me i don't know <laughs> we can look it up i'm sure there's something on google and we'll put the link down below if we find anything <laughs> all right well it should have been cited in the story neville should have said andrew <laughs> andrew wasenstein or whatever it is yeah goosen <laughs> something some cool name something something very <laughs> Very yeah. cool. So anyway, I appreciate I think we've probably covered some major stuff today. I don't yeah. know if you're in our agreement. Yeah. Yeah. I think our, I think our <laughs> people have probably had enough of Dan radio style, but they, there's more on to come always. And, and me too. <laughs> and me too. <laughs> yeah. There's more of me, believe it or not. Check out my video, Dan radio style. And so that's pretty awesome. Uh, anyway. So thank you on I appreciate no another worries. wonderful discussion and uh, we'll do this yeah. again. Yeah. It was very, very good. And I think, it's the idea is for us to talk about this so people can apply it and have a crack at seeing what results they get. And, you know, they can put the comments in the thread because it's practicing it. See, I didn't know how to use it. I remember thinking, okay, I know what you do, but how do I use it with this subject or that subject or this? So I thought, well, I'll just try and play around with it and see what happens. I just made up my own thing and just saw, you know, let's see. And that's, I I think that's key with this. Yeah. That's huge. You've got to yeah. play. And that's what I try to tell other people. Like you got to play with these different techniques. It's very important yeah. that you try them out. And if it doesn't work for you, don't, don't worry if it works for so-and-so. And they've got yeah. a success story because they wrote in charcoal on the yeah. glass that it's like, well, I, yeah, but that didn't work for you. So yeah. try, try something else. It's cool. Yeah. That's, that's why we try these things. And, and again, mm. when it gets to, 
imagining anyway, I do think there's something to be said about practicing that in general and just getting better and better and better. And yeah. I love, and I, I still love this. think it's one, well, I would say it's the technique that trumps all techniques. You do, yeah. you do yourself. They're probably going to ban that video in the U S now because you said that, by the way, <laughs> the fact that you said the press sentence name, uh, that's pretty funny. Yeah. Oh, God. Huh. I have to watch. I had to be like, not suitable for all advertisers. Be like, really? I know exactly why. We'll both know. Oh, be it. Be it right there. Yep. Anyway. So yeah. yeah um, no, it does. And I think yeah. seriously, uh, that's the big, 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 big takeaway, everybody. And I, I try to, I try to, mention this as often as possible. You guys are doing awesome. There's no, am I doing it right? Am I doing it right? You're, no, you're doing great. Keep practicing. We get better with time. You get more used to it with time. It's muscle yeah. memory. It, you Trust yeah. me, you will definitely, it'll get easier and easier and easier and you will see the results. They will start to materialize before you. You will start to mesh. Those gears yeah. will come together and you will start to see birds before land is something that a lot of your people love to yeah. rem uh, talk about. I think maybe it's birds before land. And I'm like, I love it because that's a very honest thing. And I love I that. Know. It was that's just a, a very, very cool thing between me and my friend. And it's become people oh, so yeah. tell me, Oh, well, you know, I had this birds before land moment. Oh, yeah. like, oh. That needs to be the name of your next book. That's all there is to it. <laughs> the next book needs to be birds before land. There you go. And, oh, uh, dude. just sold you. I just pre-sold you a thousand books right there. Fabulous. Fabulous. That's how you do that. And it will be coming out. People look for the link on yes's next book. I'm Sure. Birds before land. That's It'll it. Be. Who knows when they're watching? This could be five years from now. And they're like, "Where's that book?" And there will be one. Watch. You will have written it. I know you will. Birds before land. You're like, actually, I've written the third one, but I'm not. I can't tell you what the what the name is yet. Are you going to change it to <laughs> Birds Before Land? No. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be you funny. Know? That's very cute. <laughs> that would be funny though. Anyway, anyway, that's the yeah. that's the beauty of. So yes, Anya, you are a busy, busy person. Um, being Anya Spivarelli. That's a, quite a lot of responsibility. I don't know if people realize that. So that's fantastic. <laughs> responsibility being me. Yes. The weight of like all that, like all those like thousands of subscribers. It's like, ah, it's exhausting. But she does it. She travels on. She wearies forward, fellas. She does. She mates. Does. All you friends out there. Mates. Mates, why is through mates? I thought that was only appropriate. Yeah, There's, yeah that's yeah. good. Uh, you threw that yeah. in just really casually too. God save the I queen, you know. It. I mean, yes, yeah, I know, <laughs> I know. It's like cheers. What? Huh? Huh? Where did? Yeah. No, he did not. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, that's awesome. Well, Anya, you're the best. Wow, I appreciate yeah, it always, and thank you everyone for for allowing me to be a part of Anya's world. I love it. It's always good for me. <laughs> and vice versa. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. It gets a little cross, a little cross pollination. That's right. Yeah. Some of my pollen's been on your pollen, baby. Mm. <laughs> you go, girl. I'm just saying. Sorry. I know. That's the worrying oh, thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we should probably stop recording before I before really. You keep going. Yeah, no, before that pile of poo I step in is really deep. Thank All you, right, everybody, everybody, for joining. Yeah, you're the best. Bye-bye. Bye. Stay on, Dan. <laughs>